continued with the previous video in this video we will see the different other methods of the open py excel module so in this video we'll uh, discuss the methods which are uh, used for creating the excel file and by adding the values into the cell in the excel file through the python program so for that uh, you can see here in the earlier videos we have used the method known as a load workbook where we are trying to open and accessing the contents from the already created excel file from the system but in this you can see here we are uh, creating the excel file through the open py excel module and from the python program so for that you need to again use the open py excel module with that you are going to use simply the name of the method is workbook where w being a capital letter here so how to access this here is so take a variable name to this you are going to say that open py excel dot workbook so in this case you can see here uh, the wb is an object that has been created for this uh, file here so let me uh, tell you one thing clear that so only by simply using the workbook method it is not going to uh, save the file within the system so for that you require to save it explicitly then only a file will be created but until then you can create the workbook object where you can do or add the contents by using the workbook object itself here Right. So for that you can see here you you may you may be interested to see once you have created an a workbook file that is once you have created the Excel file you may be interested to know the sheet names that are associated with that file. So for that as usual you are going to use the method known as the sheet names itself using the object here wb. So and the next thing is you want to associate an, another variable with the active sheet from that file which is done with the wb dot active here. So in the earlier videos I told you what this active method is going to do. So this active method is going to get access to the currently active sheet from the excel file. So here in this case you are going to associate it with a variable known as a sheet and then you can print the sheet title so by default the sheet title is going to be the name sheet itself in case if you want to change the sheet title you can go for doing it with the sheet dot title method so sheet dot title is equal to and within the single quote you can specify the name of this sheet that you want to assign here and then you can check out what is the sheet names that has been created here so let me run this function here So in this case you can see here initially uh, you have printed the sheet names by default there was only one sheet with the name as a sheet and then we have printed the sheet title which is again sheet here in the next case what we have done we have changed the sheet name here with the sheet dot title which is which has been changed and in the next case if you print this you are going to get the new sheet here right so as a part of this program uh, here you are use the some more methods here which is not going to be reflected yet so in case uh, if you want to change the existing file sheet title you can also do that how to do that instead of open work open py excel dot workbook method you are going to use the open py excel dot load workbook why because so what is the difference between these two uh, methods here is this load workbook method is used for using the existing file in your system and this only workbook method is used when you want the uh, create a new excel file from this uh, python program here right so in the next case once you have loaded the existing file next you are going to access the active sheet and then uh, if you want to change the name of that active sheet name you can go for again using the sheet dot title the c it is a sheet or sheet one with it uh, it is dependent on the what variable you have taken when you are accessing the active sheet from the excel file so here i have taken it as a sheet one so that's why here i'm taking it as a sheet one dot title is equal to this one i want to just name it as a in this way and then if you want to make all these changes to be reflected in your excel file you can go for using the wb dot save with the new here i have taken it as a new file why because i just don't want it to be 
uh, uh, editing with the already existing file so i have accessed the already existing file but while changing what i have done i have created or i want to save all the changes to be the new excel file because i just want to retain the already existing file with the same name as it is so here you can see i have saved it to the new file with the example.copy.xlsx so in this throughout this method this one throughout this set of the statements what we have done is here we have all uh, taken the existing file and we have accessing the active sheet and then we want to change that active sheet title into the spam 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 but whatever the changes that we have made we just want it to save it with a new file that is example underscore copy so let's see whether that file has been created in the system or not yes it has been created because i have executed this program you can see here the this file that we have exist but whatever the changes that we have made we have saved it into this new file example dot underscore copy here so i'll just open that file Right. So you can see here the active sheet was this one which has been renamed as a spam 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 earlier it was B division but once I have executed where I have changed the title of that sheet I have named, renamed it as a spam spam spam. I hope these two uh, methods are clear to you. So workbook is used for creating the new excel file and load workbook is used for ex uh, accessing the existing excel file. So whenever you do any changes to the existing file it would be better if you save it with the new file. If you take it as the same file however it is going to work but the already existing contents is going to be modified once you save it with the same file name. Okay. so let's continue with the uh, further methods for the open py excel function here so here uh, in the earlier example we have seen how we'll be able to access the sheets and how we'll be able to uh, name the sheets but in case if you want to create the more number of the sheets through the python file so how you can do that so for that you have to first uh, open a uh, excel file using the workbook method and then do check the sheet names with the sheet names method and then in order to create a sheet new sheet you can go for using wb wb is nothing but this variable name dot create underscore sheet so this method is used for creating the new sheets and then once again you just check out how many sheets will be created and here by default it is going to name it as a sheet itself so in the next case if you want to create the sheet with a specific index value or just telling that what should be the sheet name and what should be the title of the sheet you can go for using it as wv.create sheet index value as a zero and a title with the first sheet right so in the next case uh, create sheet index is equal to two and title with the middle sheet that means here we have created with the two sheets but this first sheet needs to be placed at the index zero and middle sheet needs to be placed at the index two that means one is going to be by default considered as only sheet so i'll run this program and let us check out what we are going to get here can see here by default it is only sheet and here we have created a sheet that means sheet with sheet one is going to be created in the next case we have created with the index value zero with the title as a first sheet whereas the rest of the two are going to remain same and in the next case we have created the another sheet which is a middle sheet at the index value two that means zero first sheet this sheet is going to remain as it is and uh, two it should be middle sheet and the last one is going to remain as it is here so this is how you are able to create the different sheets while working through the python program using the open py excel model so the one more method is the last method that we want to write into the excel file is how we are able to add the contents into the cell over there so in this case you can see here we have opened the file here we have opened the file py excel uh, sorry we have used the open py excel module and we have created the excel file and we are targeting it to the active sheet from that excel file and here you can see here we are taking a variable name 
and we are setting it to the some cell value here so in order to write the value into the cell first you need to tell or you need to give the label where you want to write the content here so in this case you can see here sheet dot cell is a method which tells that the location to, uh, the location where you want to write so what should be the parameter to this method is the row and the column value here so row is equal to one column is equal to one uh, this is going to be set as a location to this c1 variable and to this location you want to write a value how you can write a value c1 dot value is equal to and within the single quote or double quote you need to mention the value what you want to write here so c1 dot value so this is going to be written so these all things right now it is not going to be reflected as we have not saved it with the any file over there so just i am trying to print this value in the console itself here but as in case if you want to write it with some excel file you can write it but before that you need to save the file we'll see here how we have saved earlier what method we have used wb dot save is a method for which we are using here so what i'll do i'll just copy the same thing So I'll just take it as a example underscore or value as to be written here. And now I'll save this uh, function and now I'll run this module here. Okay. So let us see whether that file has been created or value has been in inserted or not. The name of the file was example underscore value. You can see here we have named it as an example underscore value. I'll just open this file. Okay, so you can see here to the row one and the column one, the value has been inserted here. So this is how you will be able to create the files. You will be able to uh, create the sheets and you will be able to add the content into the cells through the Python program. So not only accessing the contents from the already existing files, you will be even able to create the Excel file through the Python program and where you will be able to add the values through the Excel file as well. I hope these methods are clear to you. So rest of the things will continue in the next video.